On the Haitian flag, unity is strength is a message that's inscribed. And Ruthie Louis Jean is bringing the Haitian community together this Friday. Yes, we tried to dress like we the did. Haitian flag. I, I helped coordinate that. Yes, I was like, did. make sure you're wearing Haitian Called flag me colors. Last night. I'm like, I think I'm on point here. I've got the royal blue, the mm -hmm. red, the nails. Okay. Nailed so it. the Boston City Council president recently stopped by to talk about a very special night that's coming up at Fenway. So get your colors. Ruthie, thank you so much for joining us today. I know you're stopping by during one of the busiest months for you this past weekend, a lot of festivities in honor of Haitian Heritage Month, but what stood out to you so far? Well, it is always a joy to celebrate Haitian Heritage Month in May, and yet the parade is always a signature event. It was started and it was raining in the beginning, but there were still so many people out waving their flags in celebration. I remember across the road, there was a girl who couldn't be any big older than three years old, just dancing dancing on her porch um, and waving her flag and dressed in traditional Haitian uh, attire. And it was beautiful. So it was, the parade is always the highlight for me. The weather is not going to stop us. Yes, <laughs> not at all. But this upcoming Friday, Haitian Heritage Night is being celebrated at Fenway Park. I feel bad because it's actually already sold out. So the people that are watching won't necessarily be able to attend. But how did this event come together? Yeah, it really came together because, well, uh, the Red Sox at Fenway, they have a lot of culture, different and cultural nights and affinity groups. And there's a resident in the Fenway, Tony Pierre, mm. who is Haitian herself, and who asked the Red Sox, hey, why haven't we had a Haitian cultural night? And so the Red Sox partnered with my office. We've done work in the past. Every year we have, and this happened on Friday, our flag raising and breakfast. Mm -hmm. And the Red Sox Foundation has, has sponsored that. So I'm used to working with the Red Sox. And so we've been working together to create this beautiful night, Friday night, where uh, we'll have Haitian night at Fenway Park. And I have to admit, when I saw the tickets go on sale. Once I saw the rendering of this jersey, I was sold. So how did this get designed as well? We had a whole committee uh, that helped us partner and work with the Red Sox to help design what this jersey would look like. It's Red Sox on the front and the Haitian flag. And on the back, the date is May 18th. May 18th is our flag day. Uh, some folks are confused and say we're celebrating, indep celebrating Independence Day, but it is really celebrating uh, Dies Rimes, mm. the May 18th, which is our flag day, we celebrate the creation of the flag, and on the number 18, there's a coat of, you can see the coat of arms um, in, within the 18, and the red and blue of the flag. Our flag was sewn in 1803 by Catherine Flan, and uh, before independence, which would follow uh, months later in 18, on January 1, 1804, and has a lot of meaning to us, the second biggest holiday celebrated by Haitians after Independence Day, and so all of that went into this jersey. So you're going to need to add fashion designer to your resume. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but we've talked about this at length. You're the first Haitian American president elected to the Boston City Council. So how does it feel to be in a space where you can represent not only your community, but the city of Boston overall? It feels really lovely. You know, I'm an at-large city councilor, meaning I represent people from Beacon Hill to Mission Hill, from Mattapan to Charlestown, and all of who I am. I represent the second largest per capita Haitian community in the United States. Boston has traditionally held since the 50s and 60s a large Haitian population that continues to grow. Uh, the late police officer, Dan Breville, rose the first Haitian flag on City Hall in the 90s, and I'm just so grateful that I get to continue that tradition, because, Kwani, you know that our people, there's a lot of challenges, even in the Haitian story, but there's so much for us to be proud of. And I had a chance to talk to Ruthie earlier this year. So if you want to learn more about her, you can just head to our website, NBC10Boston.com slash Kwani has questions to learn more about the Boston City Council president.